My dearly beloved in Christ, we are confronted in the gospel today for the 22nd Sunday after Pentecost with the example of what we should not be. And that is the Pharisees, how hypocritical they were, how deceitful and dishonest. First of all, it begins by saying that they gathered together to discuss how they might trap Jesus in his speech. So that's the first thing we see. They're, they're taking counsel together. They're trying to figure out how can we tra trap him? How can we trick him? into saying something that then we can use against him. And then it says that they joined forces with the Herodians. Now what's interesting is that they were bitter enemies of the Herodians. The Herodians were those who were in favor of the Roman government and the Roman rule and therefore paying of taxes. Whereas the Pharisees were very much opposed to paying taxes and to the Roman government. So here we see the Pharisees joining forces with their enemies because they had one thing in common, and that was their hatred of our Lord and their desire to bring him down. And then the third area where we see their duplicity, their dishonesty, is that they go up to our Lord and how did, how did they begin before they ask him this question? Whether, it, whether or not it's lawful to pay tribute. They begin with flattery. They go up to our Lord and they say, we know you are a true speaker. You don't care what people think. You say the truth. And they're, they're trying to lead him on to, in an unguarded moment, say something that they can use against him. So they begin with that flattery. Again, we see their dishonesty. And it's so repulsive this example of how the Pharisees were, their hypocritical dishonesty. We were just reading at the seminary yesterday from chapter 7 of St. Mark, where the Pharisees were finding fault with the disciples of our Lord because they were eating without washing their hands. Now the Pharisees had made up many rules that were not from Moses, were not in the Scripture. And they had many washings of hands and of utensils and so on and so forth. And we could imagine our Lord's disciples who traveled constantly had to eat, get a bite to eat when they had a chance. So here they were eating without washing their hands. And the Pharisees said, why do your disciples eat without washing their hands? And he said, you hypocrites, you wash the cups, etc. But you don't worry about what's inside. As our Lord later was to condemn the Pharisees using the terminology, you are whited sepulchers. They were so concerned with the outside, they were so legalistic, but they weren't concerned with what was what is within. And he said to them, well did Isaiah prophesy of you saying, this people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. So, we, in reflecting on the words of today's gospel, want to reflect upon what we should not be. And that is like the Pharisees, hypocrites. And the virtue that is the opposite of duplicity, which means being two-faced, being one way to some people and another way to others, or another way interiorly, is the virtue of simplicity. And, that, and simplicity means oneness. And that means we could use some terms like genuine, honest, straightforward, truthful. That's the way we should be. We should be so conscientious that we say what is on, on our mind and that we try to be interiorly what we want to be exteriorly. The Pharisees, on the other hand, tried to put on a display of virtue exteriorly, but they were not that way at all within. So dishonesty, dissimulation, insincerity, duplicity, very hateful to God. We look at the lives of the saints, we see just the opposite. 
Yesterday I was reading about the saint for the day. Name is St. John Cantius. And St. John Cantius was a priest in Poland in the 1400s. He was born in 1403, died at the age of 70. He was a professor of theology in the University of Krakow. And during the vacation periods, he would go on pilgrimages on foot. Four times he went from southern Poland to Rome and back on foot to make a pilgrimage to Rome, which was quite an undertaking in those days. And on one occasion, he was robbed by highwaymen. They came and they robbed him, and after they took everything, they said, do you have anything else? Do you have any other money? He said, no, and they left. And after they left, he remembered that he had three coins that he had sewn into his cloak, and he felt bad because he had told them, no, he didn't have any other coins. But he wasn't being dishonest because he had forgotten. He wasn't lying. He had forgotten that he had these other coins. But being bothered by the fact that he told them one thing that wasn't true, he ran after them and he said, wait, wait, I just remembered I have three other coins here in my cloak. And they felt ashamed and not only did they give back everything they had stolen from him, they completely changed their lives and began to live as good Christians because of that example. And honesty, there's something interesting about honesty. And that is when we are truthful and we admit when we are at fault and we simply tell the truth, others will esteem us for our virtue, our honesty. Whereas in our mind, we think it might be the opposite. Well, if I tell somebody this, what will they think of me? If I tell them the truth, what will they think? We shouldn't worry about that. We should only strive to be honest. And in fact, if we are, then others will esteem us for that truthfulness, that sincerity, that honesty. Sometimes people will say, well, I don't worry about little things because I don't want to become scrupulous. Well, what is scruple? What are scruples? What is scrupulosity? It is seeing sin where there is no sin or thinking that something is a mortal sin when in fact it's a venial sin or a fault or maybe even no sin at all. That's scrup scrupulosity. And that indeed is something to avoid. That is a real trial to someone who is afflicted with scruples. But conscientiousness is not scrupulosity. Trying to be conscientious to do God's will even in the little things is not scrupulosity. Remember what our Lord said, he that is faithful in that which is least will be faithful in that which is greater. So let us take a lesson from today's gospel, a lesson of revulsion at the hypocrisy of the Pharisees and say to ourselves, I am going to be honest, conscientious, sincere, straightforward, truthful. I'm going to avoid all duplicity, dishonesty, and hypocrisy. And rather, to seek the truth and to always say what we believe is the truth. That is a good virtue for us to cultivate and to do everything we can to avoid that hypocrisy, which our Lord found so, so much to be reprimanded reprimanded in the uh, lives of the Pharisees. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.